These are the five very surprising ways in which the all new 2018 Honda Accord is different from the 2018 Toyota Camry. These are the two segment leading family sedans and the main difference is under the hood. While Honda made the new Accord a little bit shorter overall, they improved the interior space and accommodations. In the rear seat, there is 40.4 inches of legroom, which is about two inches more than in the Camry. Total volume is about 5% bigger than the Camry, and trunk is bigger as well, 16.7 cubic feet of space, which is about 10% more than in the Camry. The Camry has a panoramic sunroof, the Honda Accord does not. I asked Honda guys, how come? And they said that the panoramic sunroof is not one of the purchase decisions for the midsize family sedan, at least not a major decision maker. And most of the people actually prefer a smaller sunroof to keep the car a little bit cooler. Styling is highly subjective, but here's the way I look at it. I really like the front and the profile of the Accord and the tail of the Camry. I wonder if there's a way to combine the two. Both Honda and Toyota have a different approach when it comes to interiors. The Toyota interior is more swoopy, while the Accord has more angular design. The big difference comes in terms of the infotainment system. Honda is working with Apple and Google to provide Apple CarPlay and Android Auto while Toyota is relying on their Entune infotainment system. In the end, I prefer the interior of the Accord. Honda also have something called Active Noise Control System. Basically, this is noise cancellation, but also some engine enhancement sound when you're in sport mode. Of course, safety is a very important consideration when choosing your next vehicle, and both Honda and Toyota offer their latest suites of safety technologies across the board. The Accord uses a combination of a camera and a radar system for their driver assistance package they called Honda Sensing. But here's the difference. The Honda Sensing suite of technologies includes things like low speed follow, road departure mitigation, traffic sign recognition, and driver attention monitor as standard equipment on all the Accords, while you have to pay a little bit extra to get those features on the Camry. Before we get to the differences, a similarity. Both of these cars have a swoopy four-door coupe-like design. The cars are now wider, they're lower, they have fancy suspension systems, the Accord has an adaptive damping system. They're both fighting for your dollar by being a more sporty, performance-oriented sedan. Okay, I've made you wait long enough. The absolute biggest difference between the Accord and the Camry is under the hood. The brand new 2018 Accord comes with two turbocharged engines, the base 1.5 liter, and this made it to either a 10-speed automatic transmission or a six-speed manual. Yep, a manual transmission in the sport trim. I cannot tell you how the car drives at this time, but I can show you how it drives. And this engine is actually closely related to the one in the Civic Type R. The spec on this particular engine is 252 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. So the rating is not quite as high as the Type R but it's doing family duty in this family midsize sedan. As always, we like to do a bonus item. And actually both the Camry and the Accord are both built in the United States. The Camry is built in Kentucky and the Accord is built in Ohio. As always, a quick disclaimer, Honda flew me out here to beautiful New Hampshire to test drive the all new 2018 Accord and they provided all the vehicles you see here. And there is an information embargo on this first drive event Fuel economy, price, and driving impressions are embargoed until October 2nd. The base 2018 Honda Accord with the 1.5 liter turbo engine goes on sale on October 18th, 2017. The 2.0 liter turbo goes on sale a little bit later at the end of November, and there is a new hybrid model coming out, but the specifications on that car are not available yet. 
that car will go on sale early in 2018. Go back to tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews, and of course, lots more on the brand new 2018 Honda Accord.